Hello everyone, welcome to World of Joysticks. We are working hard to make your gaming life easier. And today we will talk about standard version of World of Joystick Simulator. Zira from Microsoft will help me today. Hello Zira. Hello Timur, hello guys. Many PC games do not support gaming controllers at all, and what to do in this case? Download and install joystick to keyboard and mouse emulator, WoJ Standard Edition form www.worldofjoysticks.com Let's start from reviewing the user interface of Standard Edition. In the left top corner, we have a green button for refreshing devices, press it after connecting or disconnecting any gaming controllers to or from the PC. Pulling rate selectors are separate for the buttons and the axes of your joystick, in order to process them on the separate cores of the CPU. That provides more smooth simulation of mouse movement. Using Sensitivity 1 and Sensitivity 2 selectors, you can adjust the speed of horizontal and vertical mouse movement. And for switching between sensitivities, you can assign a button of your joystick. Sensitivity 2x and y values we usually set to minimal value and switch to sensitivity 2 only for aiming in the shooters. Also, you can enable the sound notification that indicates that sensitivity 2 is currently active. In the center, we have a grid for assignments and the buttons for managing configurations. New button resets current configuration and starts the new one. Press load button to load an existing configuration XML file. Press save button to save all the setting and assignments as XML configuration file. You can also remove single or multiple selected lines from the list of assignments. From the right side, we have a mode selector. Switch it to settings mode in order to open the setting drop down panel. Or switch it to playing mode when your device is connected configuration is loaded and you are ready to play the game. All the joysticks have a different quality of sticks, so not always they returned back to initial position when you release them. To resolve this problem, you have a axis dead zone selectors. All the area between from and to values is selected as initial position for all the sticks. On the settings panel we have the interface selector, you have to select X input interface if you want to use any Xbox compatible controller. For any other gaming controllers select direct input. From the right side, you have a device selector. Emulator supports playing with multiple devices simultaneously. Assignments for all the connected devices are mixed in the same configuration, however you cannot mix direct input and X input devices together. Select an input device by this selector before starting assignments. Ok, now let's review what do we have on the buttons mapping panel. 
The emulated controls are on the top line, uh, the input controls are on the bottom one. You have two UI elements for choosing emulated controls, text box from the left is for free input from the keyboard or mouse, and selector with predefined elements is from the right. The joystick input text box is also for free input, when it is in focus, and also you can choose predefined input elements. From the right side, we have the axis mapping panel. In the top selector, there are X and Y mouse axes, and in the bottom one either are available joystick axes. Mouse axes can be inverted, it can be useful in the flight simulators. Before choosing a joystick axis, you have to take a look at the joystick axis information panel, touch the axis of your joystick and you can detect them on this information panel. For both, mouse and joystick axis you have also the opportunity to assign a single direction as a button. The assignment scenario is understood from the enumeration, there are five steps for buttons and also five steps for axes. And the last step is to press the assign button, according to your scenario. You are enabled to enter the title for each assignment, do it in line in the grid. Emulator uses the contextual drop-down menu, you can open it by right-click in the application window, or from the system tray icon. Let's review the options of this menu. Show button is to restore the application window after you minimize it. Stop start button is for interrupting the emulation. Choose your native language form the menu or use English. Use auto start checkbox to start emulator after restarting windows, and auto connect checkbox to automatically connect the first available gaming controller. You have the really cool radio player in the emulator. It does not require from the application window to be in focus, and can be controlled by you joystick. Select a radio station from the list to start using the player. You have all the standard functions for media players here. The list of radio stations is configurable. Press exit button to exit from the application. Close button just minimizes it to the system tray. In the next part of this video, you'll see how to create configurations on the practice. In this part, we'll see how to use Logitech Attack 3 joystick in the World of Warships. Why World of Warships? Because this game is very comfortable for playing with any kind of gaming controllers. Usually, ships sail slowly and no need for precise aiming. As you know, game itself does not support gaming controllers. Therefore, we'll use latest standard version of World of Joysticks emulator. Let's start the assignments. 
First of all, we have to set up the direction of movement. On the keyboard there are A, W, S and D buttons. For the left and right, will be comfortable to use the left and right buttons of stick. So A key we assign to left stick button. And D key to the right stick button. Our joystick contains the throttle wheel, and it is great for moving forward and backward. So the W key we assign to the throttle wheel up, axis Z minus. And the S key to the throttle wheel down, axis Z plus. The next step is to assign the aiming controls on the joystick instead of mouse. The stick itself is the best solution in this case. So mouse axis X will be joystick's axis X. And mouse axis Y will be joystick's axis Y. Now let's assign the fire. So left mouse button will be assigned to trigger, for guns. And middle mouse button will be assigned to bottom stick button, for torpedoes. Shift key, artillery camera, we assign to up stick button. R key, repairing, we assign to joystick button 9. Mouse scroll up down, zoom in out, we assign to joystick buttons 7 and 8. And the last thing is a virtual sensitivity switch, in fact in this game it is not really needed, like for example in the tanks. Because there is no precise aiming here, but let's assign it anyway, to joystick button 6, with sound. That's all, all the basic controls are assigned and we can enjoy playing World of Warships with Logitech Attack 3 joystick. Save configuration and switch emulator to the playing mode. In the next part of this video, we are going to check how it works. System Configuration Screen Resolution Graphics Card Graphics settings in the game Controls are in the default state Joystick is connected and emulator is in the playing mode Now we can start playing
Thank you for watching. Play the games with World of Joysticks Simulator.